Water filters can be expensive to purchase. However, we found one online that we could build called the Slow Sand Filter. We're gonna build a water filter so we can filter out water. This is the typical filter you can find online. You can check out the exact specs in the description below. The concept is simple. Rainwater passes through a barrel of sand and gravel, which acts as a filter. Clean water then flows up and out of the spigot. Bryson gathers the supplies. We have a barrel, we've got a five gallon bucket, and then mostly just PVC. To make a waterproof connection, we use a male and female threaded and connector. Washers that you get for your hoses, and they fit right over the tops of these like this. And then what we do is we drill a hole in the bucket, and this will go the in here. The rubber washers will seal any leaks. PVC pipe we have a bunch of holes in, so go down here, and this will be our coarse filter. They are attached with the bucket between. The perforated pipe is needed on the bottom of the bucket. So we're just checking for leaks. Bryson performs a successful leak test. Rocks are added to the five gallon bucket. A series of perforated PVC pipes are interconnected to ensure the waters disperse slowly upon entering the filter. The same waterproof connection is used on the 55 gallon barrel. A different pattern of pipes are designed for the bottom of the barrel. The holes face down. Bryson places the barrel before attaching the spigot and then add sand and gravel. Okay, what we did is we put a layer of pea gravel down on the bottom, which covered up the, the PVC pipe down below. Then we took sand just from the wash, which we put about two feet of. Then we took a finer sand we got at Ace, already pre-rinsed and everything, and put that on top, leaving about six inches so we could fill this up with water. We didn't have a lid, so we found an old drum head to use. Put a hole through it, push this through, and this is the one that has holes on the bottom here. This will go right here, covering up the duct tape spot. It's ugly. A five gallon bucket is set on top of the barrel and connects to the pipes. And this is our rougher filter. It's more of a, just a bunch of basically large rocks. So this is the rain barrel it's coming out of. To start the process, rainwater is poured into the bucket. If we look down here, we can see the action. So you can see it's not perfect, but it's gotta run a little bit before it gets perfectly clear. Smell it. This smells like fishy rain crap and this this smells just like dirt. So it's actually took the whole smell out of it. Are you skeptical this is gonna work? We were too, but after a few weeks of watching it function correctly, we decided to upgrade with a new idea. Are you positive mom you're not gonna have me move this, right? Oh no no no, this is gonna be the spot. The amount of rain that we capture in our barrels and in other places can be an enormous amount of water. We can easily collect over 1,200 gallons of water in one monsoon store. Are you serious? <laughs> that much water? We use it for the garden and the animals, but it's hard to use that much water before the next storm hits. We've driven as much as twice a week to haul water. It's a shame to have all of this water stored and not be able to use it for our household. So what we're doing right now is moving the sand filter that's gonna be running off of our rain catchment system. All right, so now that we have this in place, we're moving it. is added to the filter and hooked up directly to the rain barrel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create our own charcoal filter. We got some activated charcoal. We're gonna put it in a two inch pipe here. And then the two inch pipe, it has an adapter down to a half inch. The charcoal filter adds an extra layer of purification. So when it comes up, it'll filter through our charcoal filter. It'll come through this valve we have here so that we can shut it on and off in case- You ready to use your imagination? Whenever you see this barrel, imagine it as a five gallon bucket. Which will service pump, which will pump it out from here up to our well. All right, so the water looks beautiful. We're putting rainwater and- uh, Look how dirty it goes in. This is disgusting. There are a little bit of charcoal pieces that have came through the charcoal filter, but eventually those will go away. And I mean, the clearness of it is, I'm shocked at how clear it is, it's amazing. So whenever we buy a pump, we always buy a couple things with it. We always buy the solar regulator, so we can always run it off of solar. And we also buy this power adapter. So sometimes, you know, solar batteries go out or something and you always need this kind of thing. What we do is we match the volts and amps, making sure we have the correct volts and amps that go to each one of these. Time to pump the water to the storage tank.
Oh, here it comes. There it is. Bryson completes the project by setting up a solar panel and golf cart battery to run the pump. We're running the system manually, but a full switch can be installed to start and stop the pump. We made one modification. Because the sand filter is so slow, we needed the output container to be small so the water doesn't sit long and become what it once was. Dirty, icky water. This allows for easier cleaning when needed. For more information, you can click the website link below. Thanks for watching. Remember the guinea hen that was hanging out on our porch? Now he has brought his buddy. No, no, that's not good. They leave huge. I mean, look at that. What did you do to my patio? Get, get out of my patio. Go.